Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at hacksaw blades for the Manchester Rapidor Power Hacksaw. The 14 inches long or 350mm in metric. The problem I'm having with this one is the material's too thick and the amount of teeth I have on the blade are too small. In fact, the smallest you can get, I think, which is about 14 teeth per inch. I then have two options. I have some of these, 10 teeth per inch. I've got a really aggressive cut for bigger materials, which I think is going to be suitable. I'm using this, you can see, that has got six teeth per inch. So we're going to have a look at that. There's a couple of bolts to undo. You know, I'm at the back and front, and there's a tensioner there. And bolt there and bolt there so I'll just whip that off now and show you. Well it turns out life wasn't that simple after all. The 10 tooth blade is too long because I couldn't get one in 14 inch and the 6 tooth blade is too wide by a quarter of an inch that won't fit in either. So I'm just going to scribe around now and see if I can cut the blades on the grinder. That one done. Let's just not off that one. That gives an idea of what I got caught. Incidentally, I don't know if I can drill this hole out with a normal metal bit because it's a hardened steel bit. I may be able to use a masonry bit because that's got a carbide tip. So I'll have a look at that. I know you can drill stainless steel with a carbide tip masonry bit, but no ammo on it. So we'll give that a go. Here's my trusty 6 inch grinder, I got it off a car boot for 15 quid, that was a good price actually. And I'm just going to clean up so that's scribe mark now. Okay, my second attempt now is we have a masonry bit with a carbide tip on the end. So, a quick look at that. Let's see if we get on. I didn't go to plan, the hole must have been too close to the hedge, so I'm going to drill the hole now, then cut the blade down, let's see how we get on. Well there you go then, so much for that idea. That one shattered completely along the blade. So it doesn't look like you can drill XR blades. Never mind. Well I managed to get one blade out of three, so that's not too bad. Always remember if you put a new blade in, don't start it off in the old cut as the old blade is much thinner and the new blade will jam.
Good job. Much better than the last one. Thanks for viewing.